Hello everyone, my name is Amy Holmwood and I'm really happy to be able to update you guys on our new China customer program. We've been working on this for probably about six months and I've been involved in the China market for the last three and a half to four years um, when LifeVantage has um, gone into different business models where we're going to capture business in mainland China and Hong Kong. And now we really have a platform that is going to be so easy for everyone to participate in if they want to, here, even here in the United States. That's really what I want to talk to you guys about. When I started my business, um, I really decided that I wanted to have an international business. And I think a lot of us involved in the company, because of our, um, first of all, our desire to travel and our desire to be able to go anywhere all over the world and have this business be something that we can share with people, is, is really something that's very compelling about what we have. And so um, also in the health space and wellness sector, Asia and, and China are the largest markets in the world for the types of nutrigenomics products that we have. I want everyone to definitely think about the population of China and also how much further ahead they are with the acceptance of plant-based nutrition and also um, more advanced in the understanding of how powerful plants really are at changing gene expression. So when we're talking to people, I had an interesting experience yesterday when I was flying home from Mexico. I was sitting, um, I had a layover and I was sitting at, at the bar having a salad and there was a gentleman and I happened to have my vitality stack little packet in my, in my jacket and the protandum part of it was sticking out. <laughs> and he said, do you, can I, can I ask you a question? I'm sure. He says, is that protandum in your pocket? And so we started talking and I said, oh my gosh, thank you for reminding me. I took it out, you know, and I opened up my little packets and he was telling me about how he, he, he heard about protandum about four years ago and a friend of his from Nebraska got involved in the company and he was talking about how, you know, he took it for a month and he didn't really feel anything. So he stopped taking it. And that is such a typical response. But when you have someone from China or some of these places where they really appreciate these herbs and they understand how the, the power of them, they really, they, they know that you don't just take something for a month and expect a result to happen. Um, they're actually looking for a, a response in their health. Like, over a long term. Like it's not just to see, hey, let me see if I feel better like for 30 minutes. But actually, can I like make my life better? And can I do things to prevent disease in my body? And that's what I said to him. I said, you, you, you probably aren't really thinking about the long term effects of what something like protandum can do for your body. You're just thinking about how you feel right now. And that is not what we're up to. We're up to long term health and, ex and expansion of life, extension of life an expansion of, of um, health span, which is how we feel over the long term by not getting sick. So I just want you guys to think about that, how big that market is and the frame of reference and the mindset of people that have that. We want to get to people that think that way. And at the end of the conversation, when I pretty much just stopped talking to him after that, and I didn't continue to try to, try to convince him, at the end, um, before I left, he said, you know, you really made me think more about what this is about and I hadn't really thought of it that way and I'd love to learn more. So just, you know, you don't have to, and I, and I said to him, I said, I, we're not expecting everybody to jump on board and, and, you know, if you just want to feel good, like feel something in 30 days, like right on. Um, I have other stuff for that, but don't, you don't expect, like, I don't expect you and I don't really care if you're interested in this or not. I mean, I hope you are, but if you're not, it's okay. So I just want you guys to, um, to just use that mindset when you think about our business because we really, there's enough people out there in the world that when we share this with them, they're going to be curious enough because they care about their health and they want to they have a better life experience. And that's really what we're looking for. So I'm going to mute everybody's lines. I'm hearing a little background noise. So if you have questions or whatever, you can unmute yourselves. So um, I'm going to go through some slides with you. And the point of this is that what I, why I just talked to you guys about that is because the Asia market is so interested in life extension, um, in disease prevention, and they have an epidemic in diabetes, just like now we have in the United States and throughout the world, it's becoming a huge problem. They really are concerned, genuinely concerned about getting better in their health. So I want to walk through a couple things with you guys first. Um, I'm going to go through the slide deck. 
and I'll send to you guys and I'll actually post a Dropbox folder in the LFVN Billion Dollar Group on Facebook. This is all in your back office now, just so you know, under the library, it's in um, tools, the tools section. So right now what we have um, that's gonna be rolling out and it's really starting on the 15th, which is just coming up in a few days, it's a customer program where people in China can buy ProTandem from the LifeVantage website, ProTandem Nerf One, Nerf Two, and the True Science Skincare from an authorized distributor. So you literally could go down the street to your Chinese laundry and you could say to that person, hey, you might have family in China that might wanna buy this stuff directly from the company LifeVantage that I work for. And so if you wanna learn about this, I can show you as a just to become a distributor, how you can offer this to people in mainland China. And you don't even have to be in China. Actually, you're not really supposed to be in China marketing this. You can market this just online, sending a link to them and they're gonna order it and you're gonna get paid the following week. So I just want you guys to think about that. Like this is a customer program exclusively. And um, anyone from mainland China can buy products directly from you, you yourself and or distributors under you. And if st someone under you gets um, customers and um, they are within five levels of you, you're going to be able to get paid on that as long as you have an order and you qualify. And I'm going to tell you what that means in a minute. So um, it starts on 11:15. You can see that there. Um, they're going to place an order through a referral website. Just like on our app, there'll be a drag down that says what country. You click on that, you send a link and the person can place that order. And it's the same way in some of our other countries where we only have customer programs. It's the same, pro completely the same program, um, except that we do have um, the compensation slightly different. And I'm gonna explain that to you. Um, credit cards are gonna be able to be used. So it's just like a regular credit card. Right now, um, there is something called um, China, oh shoot, what's the name of their credit card over there? It's not WeChat Pay, it's Union Pay. It's the main way a credit card, it's almost like a country debit card where people, when they get paid, they get paid on Union Pay electronically. Those cards, we're, we're hoping within like six months or so, we're gonna be able to use those because everyone has those and that's gonna make things much easier. Um, they can order up to 2,500 PV per month, you guys. 2,500 of qualifying volume. So that is a large order and we can get paid on that the full commission on that, if that order is coming directly from somebody that we sponsored. Um, and it's a 30% commission on that. And that can happen every single month and you can get 30% commission on those orders. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you place a, an order here in the United States for a customer and they wanna buy more than a thousand, you have to put the thousand dollar order in first and then you can go back and place another order after that order has been placed. So you can't do it all in one order. So you do a thousand PV the first order and then you go back in and do another order for a thousand and then you can do the balance um, uh, under a third order. So those are gonna all go out in three different boxes and that's unfortunately the way we have to do it, but that's the way it's gonna be and there will be people that do that every single month. Um, they'll be delivered within 12, uh, four to 12 days. Um, if somebody goes to Hong Kong, they can pick up um, the order directly in Hong Kong, which in some cases will be um, advantageous. And I'll explain to you because there is some tax on, on true science that's higher if it gets shipped. It's kind of a weird, they, uh, they tax skincare at a higher rate in China, mainland China, products coming in from out of the country. Um, the returns are um, 30 days from the date of purchase with a restocking fee, 100% um, product refund. Wow, that's good. I thought there was a restocking fee. For you. There is in the United States. We do have the ability to place orders over the telephone. So if for some reason you're in a Chinese restaurant with somebody and you're talking to the owner and you, and you say, hey, you know, let's get your parents on this stuff. You can call the company directly and do a three-way call and get that. And there'll be someone that speaks Chinese in the LifeVantage um, at that 800 number. So that's how, how we're going to do that. Some people will want to um, just do, do it over the telephone. Um, now, we will not be signing up any distributors in mainland China. We cannot do that. We can only have customers. We will have a different strategy, which I'm going to share with you guys in a couple minutes, where if somebody really is interested in being in the business, but they are from China, 
we're going to help them set up a business in Hong Kong. And I'll talk to you guys about that in a minute. But we're not going to China and like running around and recruiting people. We're not doing any meetings or anything like that. So this is really um, a great business to not have to worry about rushing over there and doing a bunch of stuff, which I know you guys aren't doing. But, you know, there are some people that are starting to really focus on this market, like even Lisa Falvo. So um, there, there are restrictions because this is not network marketing. So we have to be really careful when we're over in China with the way that we talk about this. Um, you'll be get generate, you're going to get commissions. I'm going to walk through all that. Now you do have to take a, a little test. Okay. And I'm going to give you guys the material in the Dropbox folder that just asks questions like, can you have meetings in China? No. You know, uh, how do you place orders? That kind of thing. It's very simple questions. And then you're gonna have a $30 fee to be able to be one of these China ambassadors is what they're called. Um, there's a little quiz with a video. And so um, the video, it will be available um, with a link in the virtual office. Um, or customer service. Now it's not posted yet. I looked before this meeting. I wanted to show it to you. It's not there yet. Um, it will be there soon and I'll let you guys know about that. So that is that. Let's see here. So this is the little um, charter. Okay. And you're going to have to sign this. So you guys can read through this. Again, it just kind of talks about what it means to be a China ambassador, the duties and responsibilities. The company wants to make sure that they have on record that you've read this and that you signed this. Because um, we do wanna make sure that everyone understands we're not doing network marketing and we're not promoting network marketing in China. The company has to be super careful about that. Let me just go to the next slide. Okay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Now, I love this part of the compensation plan, you guys. When you think about what we have in our regular plan, which is fantastic with our LifeVantage um, distributor compensation plan, we have now a separate plan for China, just for China customers. Now, what's really cool about this is anyone from any country within um, the, our licensed countries can be China ambassadors. And they can still get paid under the regular compensation plan for other distributors that they bring in, bring in. Let's just say Lisa has a friend from China that she went to high school with that um, wants to be a distributor in the United States. Or let's just say she was from Australia, as an example, but she has tons of contacts in China. She signs up an, as an Australia distributor. She's under Lisa and Lisa's downline on her first level. And maybe she signs up her another her partner or somebody under her and now that person's on her second level and let's just say those are in one of our countries where you can legally be a distributor so they can also build regular businesses while they build their china business so um and you can get paid on that again there's going to be and i'm going to walk through the different levels in a second of how far down you can get paid it's a bonus it's not a residual or royalty commission and it's the same every single month which is really cool because the auto ship, um, which we're really encouraging, we can get paid a, you know, the same high or higher amount than we would otherwise get paid. Um, it looks like I have a chat on here real quick. Let me just see if there's a question. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about that. If anyone has a question, you guys can stop me. Um, but what's great is the volume that so you can recruit people in all the countries that were approved in and tell them that they if they have relationships in china they can go build a china business online literally using wechat or one of these other apps that we use there's a lot of um of them online they're very sophisticated online and the nice thing about this is that we're going to be able to recruit people and i want you guys to think about anyone you know who might be somebody that has contacts in china that we don't have this complicated compensation plan, but we can take all the volume from China, even though we don't get paid the royalty commission on that, and we can roll that volume into our, um, into our business for the purpose of rank advancing. So that's really cool. And then also that volume can count toward, once you get to, to become an elite distributor, toward the global pools that you, um, 
that you hope to get into very soon, hopefully. So basically, this is going to pay through what's called the enroller tree. So whoever the enroller is, let's say Lisa enrolls her friend Jen, and her friend Jen is a U.S. distributor, but she wants to build a business in China. And so Lisa signs her up, and she gets you know her regular commission, just like she would sign up a distributor. And then um, that first, Le Jen goes out and says, all right, I'm going to start signing up customers. Jen is going to get the customer bonus sponsor because she's the direct enroller of those customers underneath her. Lisa is not. Lisa enrolled Jen, but Jen's the enroller of the customers. Jen gets the 30% um, bonus. That she, and she's going to get that as long as that customer orders every single month, 30% but she has to have 100 PV in order to get 30% and 40 of it has to come from her. So she's gonna to need to have an auto ship that's 100 PV or 40 with some customer volume. And that customer volume from China will count towards her 100 PV, which is kind of cool. So then there's a team bonus that pays up four levels. The first level, so Lisa would get 10% on the orders that Jen's customers are placing every month. As long as Lisa has 200 of personal PV, she's gonna get 10%. She can't offset it with customers. It has to be from um, her own purchases. And this is the way, this is very smart for the company because they're thinking of Chinese, they're thinking of US and other countries where we are licensed to be distributors to have Chinese people kind of in the food chain that are in these other countries that want to pick up those bonuses and making sure that they have an auto ship, which is really important. Not just, a, you know, not just, you know, the spot orders, like they can, they can do spot orders, but again, spot orders are more expensive. Don't forget that. So you have to have that wholesale order on auto ship to get the discount. And then the next person above Lisa, let's say Jennifer Van Heeswick is going to get 5%. And then Merrill's going to get 3%, and then Gail Hopin's going to get 3%. So that's a nice little way that each of us is going to be able to make some money every month if we can encourage people to get involved in this. Now, you do have to pay that $30 fee to get started, do the training. And so this is kind of a little redundant, but, I, but this, go, this is a little chart here that you guys can see how it works. So this is really well done. They did a good job with this. Kept it really simple. This is just really basically how that bonus is going to pay out. And again, that's based on the sponsors, um, is where the sponsor is, but they could be placed. So let's say that Jen, which is underneath Lisa, decides to place the volume further down in her organization for some reason. She wants to place the customers you know, further down. Remember, it's not like placing on your third level like in our U.S. compensation plan where you want to get that 9% because Jen's always going to get the 30% because she's the enroller. But she might want the volume to go under someone in her downline for them to rank advance or for them to get points for Ireland or whatever to hit certain ranks. So that's something that we're going to be able to do and there's going to be a holding tank that we're going to be able to see in our back office that shows where these customers are sitting and then we can decide to place those customers. And we're gonna to need to do that. It's very important if we have new people that get started that are in our downline, that are distributors that wanna build a business in China, they're gonna need, it, it, even if they only do China business, they don't do any other volume, they still are gonna to need to spread their volume out just like we have to, to hit the rank of Pro 3, Pro 4, Pro 5, how we start having to spread out once you hit Pro 5 three legs, pro six, and things like that. So even though um, they're not getting the royalty commissions the same way, they want to be able to, um, to think about their organization, you know, the 80, 20, the 60, 30, 10, that kind of thing. So just keep that in mind. Every month, we're going to be showing people, this is where you want to place. And we're thinking there'll probably be a fair amount of customer volume from people that really do get involved in this. And if you guys, even if you just find one person that wants to do this, this is going to be really good for your business. Because I do think we're going to have larger orders and we're going to have a lot of recurring orders um, just based on my experience with what I've had happen when I um, started this, you know, a few years ago. So let me just see if there's one more chart to show you guys. Um, it's the test um, you guys have to take 
it's an online test. It's not like the test that we had where we all sat together and filled out a form. There's a little online test that you have to take. You're going to watch a video and then there's going to be a test for you to take. So that's going to be all done at the same time. That's not available yet, but it should be posted within the next day or so. So, um, so if Jen has 200 PV, she can get 40%. No. Jen is only ever going to get 30%. There is no 40% commission. So there was a question that asked um, if there was a 40% commission if somebody has 200 PV. And there, there's never 40% commission in China on China volume. It's always 30%. Let me just show you that chart again. So it's, it doesn't matter. Even if that enroller, Jen, had a 200 PV order or 200 of personal volume, combined between customers and her $40 order, she would never get 40%. That's not going to happen on China volume, okay? Got it? So it's very different. She only has to have 100. And the reason they're doing that is because that distributor that's doing the enrollment is not a Chinese person. Maybe they are, but they're a U.S. distributor. And the company's very careful about forcing people to have auto ships to get paid um, royalty commissions. And so um, even though the upline is going to be forced into this, it's not a royalty commission type of a structure. It's a bonus. So the company feels more comfortable pushing that 200 PV um, requirement up rather than the actual enroller themselves. So I'm not really sure why they are, but that's what they said. So that's, that's how that goes. Okay. <laughs> I know you had a question on that. So Lisa, um, yeah, so I'm going to open it up for questions. I don't know if there's, um, I don't think there's really anything else to share with you guys. Um, if anybody has any questions, they can, they can un, um, undo their unmute themselves. And uh, I'm excited. Shelly is on her way there. Um, they're going to start on in two days from now. And we're going to open this up. And then there's an official launch on December 18th, which I am going to in Hong Kong, where we're going to be doing probably a live meeting. And you guys can tune in if you want to try to tune into that to introduce people to what we're doing. And the company is going to have um, somewhat like a celebration. And there will be people coming from um, different uh, countries probably, like Australia and places like that, where they, they also have a fairly good China business in Australia, um, and probably some other people from here as well. And if any of you guys start getting this going, you know, you're welcome to come. We're going to get some hotel rooms, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to go over there. So before I, before I wrap this up and open it up for questions, if somebody does want to become a Hong Kong distributor, and they live in China, it would it, the easiest place for them to be a distributor that's licensed in one of our approved countries would be Hong Kong. And we do have an accounting firm that is very good at setting these LLCs up and they can do that for somebody. Um, and they'll also help them with their 1099s at the end of the year. And there are some different rules with LLCs, opening up bank accounts and things like that. So we do have a system in place. If we do have a big leader that really wants to recruit someone from China. We don't want to go over there and do meetings or anything, but we do have the ability to help those people and potentially even put them in red carpet programs. If you have a really big leader, maybe from another network marketing company, that kind of thing, that understands the opportunity um, of building this business. So we will be able to facilitate that, um, that as well. So any, any questions, anybody? I do, Amy. Yes. So if that, um, if you did have, a, if you found a leader in China that wanted to get a distributorship through Hong Kong, that person now though can, can market in China, correct? I mean, not big, not like you're saying, not meetings and things, but they will be a distributor. Yeah. They're going to get customers in China. That's what they're going to be doing. And what, okay. they're, and what they're going to be doing is probably signing up other people that become Hong Kong LLCs as well, okay, under them. So like if you have other Chinese people that you know are really good at this and they have a ton, let's just say you have, you're a smart Chinese person, you see the opportunity and you have five best friends that all have online stores, just as an example, okay, in China. Like mm -hmm. they sell all kinds of stuff online. They have, um, you know, they have huge businesses. And you're like, well, 
all these guys need to be Hong Kong distributors too, right? Because then they can get customers and get 30% on every order that comes in through their website. And then the person clicks on the website and it goes directly to the link that is embedded their link for this particular life vantage website. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so let's just say you had, you've got, let's just say I'm going to use Jen as an example, your friend. So she knows a lot of people over there. So she sets up her LLC and then she says, you know, I have four friends that want to set up LLCs too that are in China. And so I'm going to, they're going to come to Hong Kong. And we're going to set this thing up. And those guys are each going to set up LLCs under her. Right. So now they're regular distributors, just like she is. And okay. then customers. Now she gets 10%, not the 30, right? Because now those people are enrolling. But let's just say there's a line of people that are five levels down that are all Hong Kong LLCs because they want 51%. That's a 51% payout when you add up 30, 10, 5, 3, 3. The five levels of payment is 51%. So a lot of people are going to be do, doing groups where they're going to be sharing revenue. They're going to be doing revenue sharing groups because that's what they do. They just set it up like a real business. And when volume comes in, they'll split revenue based on, you know, I mean, if you're doing, let's, if you're doing, you know, a half a million a month or something, it's 50, it's $250,000. It's being split up with some different people. There's going to be a lot of volume coming through this. So once the five levels are paid out, there's, there's no more going up. No, right. We don't get anything if, if we're not in the five levels, but what we get is volume. Volume. Yeah. So the rank events. We'd like to get three legs like this. Okay. Because. All right. Then you would, I mean, you would be, it would be volume that, that would be phenomenal. Okay. Right. Because it just pushes up your volume. And even if you're not making anything on it, your volume is going to help you get to the elite ranks. And then you're going to, all that volume is going to count in the bonus. It's added into the 4% worldwide bonus. So that volume is going to be very significant. And I think that's yeah. where, when people start rank advancing, that's where they're seeing more money that's going to come in to be able to be shared is through the pools. So, um, and the company understands this. I don't want to get real complicated with it, but I just want you guys to understand that in order to make this legal and really fair, they're going to let people run businesses the way they want to. As long as they're, they're legal and the LLCs are set up properly and they have a, a tax ID number and everything is squeaky clean, then um, this is a legal way to do business in China. And um, for us to benefit because we get the volume, um, again, that, that's huge. It's hard to get vo fast volume like this. And if anyone decides they want to do this, you're going to see a different kind of volume that's going to grow faster than traditional volume. And that's something that, that is really meaningful to your business. Even though it doesn't build up your, your royalty commissions, you still want to build your royalty commission business, your regular business. But if you can go around the, the world and pick up anywhere in the world, Australia, England, we're opening all these different countries. There's Chinese people everywhere and they all have family in China and they want real authentic products. And we're getting, we're working hard to shut down some of the online um, Amazon types of stores. And that's going to be something that if we do have people that have online stores in China, we're not going to put it on there. It's not going to be like they're doing the shipping or anything. It's going to be coming directly from the company. So they will be able to do that if they have an online store where they could click on, you know, life manage or whatever, they, they will be able to do that. So I really see this as an opportunity much easier than the other platforms that we had doesn't require you to go running around in China or anything like that just requires you to have an international perspective on your business and know that it's so easy. If the company is going to handle all the shipping, take care of everything, you don't have to do anything. It's just really cool. Just I don't know if anybody here has started building some of these customers from different countries yet, you know. Um, and but those are different because those are in our unilevel payout, which you're getting five percent on. If you can make thirty percent every month, that's very motivating to people. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. That's not a small thing. You can get doctors and stuff now. If you have doctors, I'm thinking about Jane. If she has other connections to the ND world. Um, that work with Chinese people, Chinese NDs, all of, you should be going after Chinese NDs, like go and find them all and talk to them. Acupuncturists, they can sign up all their friends and family in China and get 30% every single month. 
Like there's a lot of people that would really be motivated by this. And, and it's simple. They don't have to go build some big business. They can just almost do it like um, a lot of doctors. They, they just want to be able to make more money on their orders. And here's a way to do that with China, you know, with China customers. So I, I really see an opportunity. Um, Merrill's been very aggressive at going after um, China business right now as well. Just even just sending letters to people and emails, like just doing a little research and saying, hey, I've got a business you should take a look at. Um, that kind of thing. And you're not soliciting network marketing. Remember that. You have to be really clear about that. Okay. And I think we can also do some social media stuff too on Facebook, different things where we can attract communities of people to learn about this. So I think we should try to, to come together on that if anyone has ideas, but um, to, to have webinars and things too, where we have US Chinese people that can come on and they can sign up as distributors and make 30% on all these orders with their family in China instead of mailing them stuff in the mail, buying it, you know, with some other name and getting a 40% commission that's sending the shipping. I mean, it's a nightmare. So we really do have something here that's very compelling. Hey, Sue. <laughs> I'm seeing everybody here now. So if there are any other questions, I'm just gonna turn off the recording and um, I can send this this out to you guys. I'll post the Dropbox folder with the files in there. And then once we have that link for you to, um, to go on and do your test, I'll, I'll post that. And also I'd like to do like a little PowerPoint presentation on this that kind of speaks to that type of customer that we want. And I'm going to be working on that. I'm actually working on that with corporate. I told them we needed something that was compliant that we can use to do webinars to, and with Facebook inviting people on, um, and maybe starting some Facebook groups with um, NDs and, and you know people that know Chinese people and just so I'm 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 really going to get uh, creative with this and I want you guys all to share in it too because it's going to be great for all of our volume. Yeah, it sounds really interesting. It's good to know about. Yes, it, it's, yeah, it's you. yeah. You're welcome. Mm. Okay, guys. Well, thank you. Thanks for hosting this, Lisa. Yeah. Thanks, Amy. Appreciate it. Okay. Great. All right, you guys. I'll be in touch soon. Thank All you, right. everybody. Thanks for coming.